So when it comes to the government, no matter who's in power, pretty much all they've got are excuses. And I just want to show you this article as an example, because this is from laborresearchdevelopment.org.uk. It's essentially a left-leaning organisation based in the UK. And you can see this, like, honestly, you can see this poor excuse for a subline here. Because it says that the UK growth could be halved and prices and interest rates forced up following Donald Trump's presidential victory. So what they're essentially saying is just because Donald Trump has won the presidency, and even though he's not in power until January, apparently these guys have figured out that UK growth could halve. But it's one of those things, right? I just want to explain a little backstory when it comes to the government and sort of forecasts in general. Back in the early 2010s, it, it sounds like a million years ago now, but I started doing quite a bit of investing and I started watching a lot of CNBC. And I'll never forget, it was during one of the quarterly earnings reports. And I'm fairly certain it was Home Depot, which is America's version of B&Q, or maybe Homebase. And because I was watching it for quite a few years, you start to understand the excuses that these people come up with. So obviously Home Depot sell DIY equipment, and they had a bad earnings season. And rather than just coming out and just saying, you know, business is tricky, just for the investors, they always like to just palm it off and come up with excuses, similar to what we've seen in this article. So with Home Depot, I think this was 2012, they were saying that because it was a very cold winter, they were saying that people weren't going to Home Depot as much. And no word of a lie, a couple of months later in the summer, you had the same company, Home Depot. I'll never forget, they actually said that business was down because it was excessively hot. Like, can you imagine that? In the winter, they say it's too cold. In the summer, they were saying that it's too hot. And here's me in the middle, like with a memory span of more than five minutes, just being able to see the two excuses. Because when it comes to Donald Trump's presidential victory, something which I think we can all say was an exciting time. To me here, th this article, it really just seems like Labour themselves are just doing some damage control. Like, does that make sense? Like, they can just play both sides of the situation. Like, if it goes down, they're just going to blame Donald Trump. But if growth increases, well, then Labour can just take the credit. I think it's just one of those things. Like, it, it doesn't matter whether it's Labour or Conservatives. As politicians, these people are going to play both sides of the argument. And you know how I feel about that. You've got to have a consistent set of opinions. But, I mean, I guess that's why they're politicians. They're not exactly known for their consistency or their productivity. But if you'll excuse me, I actually had to leave for the school run about two minutes ago. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's going to be no fancy outro on this one. I think it might just be me walking out the door. But, yeah, let me know what you think about that one, fellas. Donald Trump, I don't think he's responsible for the halving. I think that might just be Labour themselves. This country has gone crazy. <laughs>